Okay, welcome to today's lecture where we're going to be asking the question, what exactly is systems thinking? Trying to get an overview uh, to this area that we'll be um, exploring uh, in more depth as we go through. So many different ways to understand what systems thinking is. It's a very uh, broad area. It's a worldview, a way of looking at the world. And um, there are different aspects to that, uh, but what I believe really fundamentally characterizes uh, system thinking is this uh, idea of holism and it being a more holistic way of looking at the world uh, in relation to a more analytical reductionist approach. So we'll talk uh, more about what we mean by that uh, as we go through, but we're going to start here by um, interpreting, understanding system thinking as uh, a holistic Way of looking at the world and what what exactly do we mean by by holistic and I, I think it's um it's understood best with reference to this idea of uh, integration and integrity and how we uh, try to understand things uh, as part of the integrated whole uh, they they're constituted um, they form part of. So holistic thinking seeks to understand phenomena as intimately interconnected and comprehensible uh, only with reference to the whole system or environment they form part of. So it's always looking upwards and outwards uh, to see uh, the bigger picture, uh, the forest uh, and not just the trees, or trying to understand the trees in relation to uh, the overall forest. I think that's what we mean by holistic uh ways of looking at the world and there are many there have been uh, many different traditions of holistic thinking uh over the centuries and uh systems thinking is maybe just one iteration of that that emerged during the 20th century um here we just kind of break that down a little bit and talk about a few different dimensions uh to this that first one around holism is a synthetic uh, mode of reasoning. Synthesis means the putting together um, that looks at what emerges when we put things together rather than taking them apart. Uh, it's a non-linear way of looking at the world that focuses on the relations of interdependence and feedback uh, dynamics. And we'll be talking about all of this as we go through. Um, Relational, it's a relational paradigm, interpreting things in the context of the network of relations they form part of. Uh, so it's a networked way of looking at the world because we're understanding things in relation to the broader context they form part of. We're, we're always asking, uh, what is this related to? What's this connected to? How is it interrelated within uh, broader networks and systems? Uh, and it's a dynamic view of the world. It's a way of looking at the world, understanding uh, it in terms of change, and um, the systemic structures of systems uh, that create certain dynamic dynamic patterns out of which uh, systems behavior emerges. Um, so it's not a static view, it's a dynamic view. It's not a um, you know an isolated view, it's a relational view, not linear, it's non-linear. We're gonna talk about all of this as we go through, but that's just to get it started in terms of trying to framing, frame uh, generally, what do we mean by systems uh, thinking? Ultimately, it's there to help us try and see um, and understand uh, systems. And I would say that's the, the purpose, the point of all this. It's not just that we get caught up in learning ideas and, and you know, a new paradigm and so forth. Uh, it's ultimately that we are actually able to elevate our thinking from, from just seeing parts um, and many interactions to uh, looking at and understanding whole systems. And this is of critical uh, importance to us because the world is made up of systems and they're not just uh, a set of parts. They also have their own overall dynamics and patterns and so forth. And if we do not see that, then we're really blinded to a lot of um, what goes on in our world and how, how things work, organizations and different kind of networks, transport, you know, society, economies, businesses, so on and so forth, all have these emergent overall patterns um, and dynamics that we need to be uh, aware of. And systems thinking is going to help us better understand those. 
Um, yeah, it's about seeing the broader the broader context and how that context um, actually shapes the unfolding of um, events as we go forwards and being able to understand uh, context uh, gives us kind of a bit of a superpower in terms of how we might actually shape uh, those those contexts um, and be able to guide and um, enable change in new ways through um, actually changing context and, and the network of surrounding factors instead of always trying to focus on the individual parts. Um, so people often talk about complexity. You may have heard of this in relation to systems thinking. Uh, it is a way, it is a paradigm that should help us um, clarify uh, complexity or help us better approach uh, complex systems. Um, and deal with the complexity in our world and the messy kind of interconnectedness of um, of the world and the way things work. Um, so some thinking helps to illustrate how a complex world uh, works. And it will help us gain a deeper, more comprehensive uh, understanding of complex systems um, through through this more networked, uh, relational and holistic uh, way of looking at the world because it helps us see uh, patterns. We don't get so caught up in the individual parts. Um, it helps us you know, step back a little bit and see the broader picture and see the patterns that are emerging. And that's really important when you're dealing with complexity because you can get lost in all the parts um, if you aren't able to step back and see broader patterns um, that shape the, the dynamics of complex systems. Uh, you're going to be a little bit lost. And that's quite often what happens when we take a reductionist approach and we lose sight of the bigger uh, bigger picture. We get overwhelmed and things become very complicated. If we're able to step back and see the forest rather than just the trees, we're gonna to start to see these um, overall patterns that are really gonna help us understand uh, complex systems and how they work and, and unfold over time. So it is about understanding context. You'll hear that word um, used a lot uh, when we talk about systems thinking. It's really when we say the overall system or the, the environment, we're really talking about the context within which things um, exist. We're not focusing so much on the parts. We're asking about what is that broader context? Um, how does it work? How does it shape the individual parts and so forth? Um, and by understanding context, by understanding the broader, broader environment, we can actually uh, start to see um, our influences and the effects of our actions. When we um, take a more narrow, focused approach, we may get very good at optimizing individual parts, an organization or a department within an organization or uh, whatever it may be. Um, you know, us passing an exam or something like this, we focus on that and we get very good at it. Um, but often there are unintended consequences. We're just looking at that. We aren't looking at the broader context. Um, we end up actually having these, you might call them negative externalities, influences on the broader system. We don't see uh, that we don't see, and those can have negative influences, quite often do. Um, they're damaging on the system and ultimately may feed back to damage um, us in unintended ways. Um, so this systems thinking tries to move us away from this kind of partial view of this of the world, um, a narrow focus on optimizing a specific aspect or, or component of a system and start to see the broader um, network of interrelationships and um, the pathway through which uh, the influence of our actions actually uh, plays out and the consequences of those. So that was a brief overview to what we're talking about when we say systems thinking. Um, it's a holistic way of looking at the world um, that's characterized by always trying to understand something in the context of the overall uh, system it forms part of or the overall context it forms part of. And the rest of the, the video um, tutorials would be um, zooming into different aspects of that and helping us to start to think in systems.